Well, it seems the hockey world is getting a, a new shock out there. It seems that Adam Johnson's death, uh, they are charging uh, Petgrave, the, the player that slashed his throat, um, with manslaughter. This is a very interesting story as there has to be something else that the police see in this matter. Before I get into the story, please like, share, subscribe, all these other things. I generally don't cover a lot of hockey stuff, but I am a Oilers fan. Uh, I have been all my life. So I have been a hockey fan all my life. And this is one of those stories that I have been following. And I figured because there's an update in the story, I would update the video that I did recently on this topic. I broke down in that other video it, what I saw in the ice and there's certain things that lead me to believe that the 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 death or the skate that came up was not intentional like you're you're traveling 30 to 40 kilometers an hour uh, on the ice things happen your feet can sometimes get away from you and that's what happens but now it seems the police, after their investigation, have enough to charge Petgrave, which is the, the player that uh, did the action. And uh, I think this is just what comes out of the deal. I think this is just what comes from the situation. And looking into the story back a long time ago, back in like 1992, there was a player that was charged and pled guilty of manslaughter to slashing another player in the chest with his stick that caused them to go into uh, a cardiac arrest. Very similar to what we saw with the football player that took the football to the chest uh, and actually causing him to go into cardiac arrest in the middle of the field. There was a lot of controversy that came from that and a lot of things, a lot of people saying a lot of things with that one. And this is no real difference. However, the difference here is a player did lose their life. Now, that life that was lost would this be any different today if he was wearing a neck guard? Quite possibly, uh, a neck guard possibly would have saved his life at this point. But at the same time, can you go after Petgrave for manslaughter or more? What else is not being shown right now? The media, in most cases, are not showing the name of Petgrave, but mostly that is because of a standing order they have in the UK that they are not to announce the name of suspects because of that, unless it's an extraordinary circumstance, which this might fall under that category, uh, mostly because everyone knows what happened. It, the, the, it went around the world. A lot of people mourned it. A lot of people were very upset about it. and. Recently, at the, uh, the one of the games, as they returned to play over in the UK, the Petgrave got a standing ovation, even though he was not in attendance. Now, he wasn't in attendance because it se seems like he was in custody. He was under arrest, it would be my best guess, because just today, they, they came out saying they have someone in custody over the death of Adam Johnson. This is a very interesting story mostly because it's not something you see every day. Um, it's not general that you see someone getting charged for a, a something that happened in the middle of a game of sport. It, it's hockey. People get hit all the time. Pucks go errant. People have fights. There is an aggression to the game. So then it comes down to where does the line get drawn? And it seems it gets drawn the second your skate gets errantly lifted and takes out your neck. Now that's a very gruesome and very horrible way to go. Absolutely horrible way. And you know, I hope Adam Johnson rests, rests where he can and the family gets solace. But is everyone here to blame? Is Petgrave the only one to blame? And that's going to be determined by what the police investigate. I know here with uh, occupational health and safety, it doesn't just go to say the foreman or the manager on the job. It goes against the company. It goes against the, the site. It goes against the prime contractor. It goes against everyone there and fines, jail time, and everything will follow. This being over in the UK, the rules are obviously slightly different. Where do I lie, lie on this? Well, I would like to see the second angle that I'm guessing the police have at this point. 
They've spoken to experts. They believe that manslaughter is attainable. Uh, obviously, they don't believe that this was a case of actual murder. Uh, they believe it was intentional. Um, <clears throat> to me, it does look like he slows up to try and make a hit, but then that hit goes awry because his skate gets lifted and it goes goes completely sideways. It's almost like a Mortal Kombat move gone wrong, but in the essence of Mortal Kombat, it, it was a fatality, and that's that's the the horrible sense of everything here. Where does it lie? Is Petgrave actually going to go to jail? Is he going to have many years in jail? Because I, I, I think manslaughter comes with at least 10 to 15 years, uh, probably in the UK, without looking it up. I, and it's going to be a very interesting story to follow down the line. But at the same time, someone lost their life in a, in a game of sport and they knew the risks entering the ice. Where does that really lie? I, I don't know. Um, this is not one of those situations where I can say either way. Um, I, I said back in my other video that he will probably end up retiring before he actually sees uh, a, his time. And that's probably going to be the case because they're going to be able to lawyer up these professional athletes. They, they do have some money involved in this. Now, this isn't like NHL level athletes. So they're not making millions of dollars, but they will have some sort of retainer, some sort of money that's behind this. And they have, I believe, a players association where they were playing because this was an elite level or a pro level play. So you'll have some sort of backing behind this and insurance costs and everything like that. So in that sense, it'll be very interesting, but I don't know where it really lies. That's up to the courts to decide. I see a lot of people calling for this for Petgrave to be uh, to be hauled into jail, have him rot, all these other things. It's a play of sport, um, and that's going to leave a very black mark in the entire game of hockey. And now it creates a line where you can't cross, where now an errant play could end up in this situation. And that's everything else I see. I've seen people take runs at other people and no charges get laid. But there has been a couple in, in the NHL. One where I believe the player two-handed slashed another player uh, with intent to injure. That was completely a different story. It's not the game of hockey. And another one was uh, Bertuzzi uh, taking, a, taking someone's head off and fighting them from behind and all these other things in an assault style uh, attack. So there is other, other plays that have happened, but this one in particular is very, very different. Um, it's very hard to say where it goes, mostly because of the speed behind it and because of the play. You can slow it down, you can speed it up, but where it lies will be very difficult to say in the end. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day.